Good morning, children. Welcome to BRGS English class. So today, I'm going to teach you all a poem. The poem name is A Fairy Went A Marketing. The poem name is A Fairy Went A Marketing. This poem is written by Rose Fileman. This poem is written by Rose Fileman. Who is a poet? Who is a poet, children? A person who writes the poem is called a poet. A person who writes the poem is called a poet. Now let's start the rhyme. Are you all ready? Yes. A fairy went a marketing. So first I'll sing the poem. Then I will explain you. Okay. A fairy went a marketing. She bought a little fish. She put it in a crystal ball upon a golden dish. Okay, here they are talking about a fairy. First of all, who is fairy, children? Who is fairy? Fairy is a small imaginary being of human. From that has magical powers. Okay, fairy is a person who is a very small human being like structure. It is just an imaginary. Okay, and they say that they have magical powers. Okay, so what they are speaking about a fairy went a marketing. What is marketing? To buy things from the market. Yes. So the fairy went to market to buy something. What did she buy? She bought a little fish. She bought a little fish. She put it. Where did she put it? She put it in a crystal bowl. What do you call this crystal bowl? What is it? Crystal is nothing but glass bowl. You have seen fish tank, no children? The same way you get a fish bowl that is called as crystal bowl. Okay. Upon a golden dish. Dish means a plate. There was a golden plate. She kept the bowl upon that golden dish. So what is the summary of this? There was a fairy who went to a market to buy something. And what, what did she get? She got a little fish. And she put it in a crystal bowl. Crystal bowl means glass bowl. And she kept it upon a golden dish. Yes. Now let's see the second paragraph. Okay. And as uh, she sat in wonderment and watched its silver gleam. And then she gently took it up and slipped it in the stream. So what happened? What did she get? She got a fish. She sat for an hour in wonderment. What is the meaning of wonderment? A feeling of pleasant surprise or a wonder. She was so much surprised to see the fish. How it is swimming, isn't it? So she sat there for one hour next to the bowl and she sat with a excitement, with a surprise. Yeah. And watched its silver gleam. What do you mean by gleam? Gleam means shine. Have you all seen fish? Yeah, you would have all seen, right? So fish always when it swims, it will shine. Yeah, it keeps shining. There is golden fish. Yeah, there are different types of fishes. And the fish, what she has bought, has a silver gleam. That is silver shine. The fish was shining inside the water. And what did the fairy do? She sat there for one hour in the surprise. Yeah, she was so surprised to see the silver shining fish inside the bowl. Yeah. And then she gently took it up and slipped it in a stream. 
so what is the meaning of gently gently means tender manner she took it very softly like a kindly she took it she took it up and slipped it slipped means to move it in a stream what is stream stream is a narrow river or a small river she didn't like the fish inside the bowl she liked the silver gleam and all that but again she felt sad so what did she do she took the fish and slipped it inside the narrow river she moved it inside the stream yes now let's see what she's going to do a fairy went a marketing she bought a colored bird it sang the sweetest trillest song that ever she had heard so again what happened first what did she get she got a fish what did she do she kept it in a bowl yeah then she sat there for one hour and then she felt that what happened to her suddenly she got up she gently took up the fish and she moved it she slipped it into a stream now again the fairy went to a market yes to buy something now what did she buy she bought a colored bird yes she got a colored bird and it sang the sweetest the voice of the bird was very sweet and celest that means the loud song it was singing very sweetly and loudly that she had never heard she never heard that kind of song so she felt it very happy and she got it to home now let's see what she's going to do with the bird she sat beside its painted cage and listened half the way and then she opened wide the door and let it fly away so what happened she sat beside its painted cage so have you all seen cage what is cage yeah cage is a place where you keep the bird yes it will be in different shapes it will be in rectangular and even sometimes it will be in a circle shape so she sat beside the painted cage and listened to the song for half a day she sat there for half the day and she was listening to the sweetest song yeah and then she opened the wide door she opened the wide door of the cage and let it fly away so what did she do with the bird now she got the bird from the market it was singing so beautifully and so loudly she sat there for half a day and she felt something then she opened the cage door and she let it fly away yes now mom is going to read it once again you can repeat after me okay a fairy went a marketing mm -hmm. she bought a little fish mm -hmm. she put it in a crystal bowl mm -hmm. upon a golden dish mm -hmm. and as uh, she sat in wonderment mm -hmm. and watched it silver gleam mm -hmm. and then she gently took it up mm -hmm. and slipped it in a stream mm -hmm. a fairy went a marketing mm -hmm. she bought a colored bird mm -hmm. it sang the sweetest trillest song mm -hmm. that ever she had heard mm -hmm. she sat beside its painted cage mm -hmm. and listened half the day mm -hmm. 
and then she opened wide the door mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then let it fly away mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. did you all enjoy the poem children as you know the poem try to read it out in the tune and send me the voice note of the poem to my whatsapp okay thank you children and in the next class i will teach you the other half of the poem okay bye thank you